Paul hands off to Davis. Davis on the run. Davis to the rim. Lays it up and in. Top of the key. Davis step back three. Davis buries it. Father Davis. Davis blocked by Kukla. Davis into the lane. Davis teardrop. Lays it in. Gage, you've been a huge standout ever since you got here last year as a freshman for the St. Cloud State men's basketball team. But I want to start from the very beginning. What got you into playing basketball? Was it always basketball or? Um, you know, I actually started out playing baseball. I played baseball until about second or third grade, and I say my uncle really got me into playing basketball. He, pu he pushed me towards it more than really anybody else. Um, he coached me early on, and I say he's a big reason why I, where I am today. And last year was your first year as a Husky. Yeah. Now, walking through the doors of Hollenbeck, what, what was your first thought of? It was a new place for me, so I just really wanted to um, come in and have an impact as, as much as I could, you know, um, especially coming from so far away, you know, just making my own name here as well. And I think last year, you know, people thought that was a, a great season. They were excited to see what you were going to do this year. I think this year you're even having a better season, broke the 1,000 point marker as a sophomore with only 49 games. So what's been working so well for you this season? Just trying to stay positive. Coach, um, he really pushed me because in the beginning of the season I was struggling the first like few games out in California and he just really like told me to keep my head clear and don't focus so much on like how I'm playing it to come naturally just make sure I'm playing hard every play. And then I know when you did score your 1,000 point uh, your mom uh, came up to watch you know how, how special was that for you? That was really special you know she was only able to make it to one game last year so her being able to come up and um, make it to my 1,000 point game was a big thing for me. My mom's definitely my um, inspiration for playing basketball. You know, I want to be able to do something for her when I'm done with basketball. So I would say she's definitely the biggest influence. I just, I owe her a lot back. Catch up, half a step behind. They're on that one. Davis for three. Top of the key, burns it down. Now, when I read your bio, it, it was funny because you said your favorite uh, player to look up to was Kevin Durant. And uh, you score a lot of baskets, he scores a lot of baskets. That has something to do with why you look up to him so much? Yeah, definitely. You know, <laughs> he scores the ball in every type of way on the court. You know, he shoots threes, he goes dunks, he gets laps, and he also, he does get his team involved. So I, I definitely like that about his game, and I try to model my game somewhat after him. Now, you've played on other teams before. Would you say that this is one of um, the closest teams closest you've been with some of your teammates? Um, yeah, definitely, especially because, you know, in college you live with your teammates, so that, that adds a little extra factor. Being able to see them every day after practice and after games, you know, you get to, you get to talk about how you feel about the game, so I, I say that definitely impacts. Drives in the lane, the elbow, back cut. Davis right there to lay it up and in. And uh, talking to Coach Reimer um, about you personally, you know, he says that this team wouldn't go if, if you weren't on it. And I think that's a huge compliment towards you. Uh, what is your relationship like with the coaching staff? This coach staff, I really love this coach staff. You know, they're more of like players, coaches, I would say. They, they really care about what we have to say and about how we feel. So um, I'm glad to hear that he says that. And that's a big, that's a big uh, role that I'm happy to accept in this. You were also one of the 100 um, Division II players picked for the Devo Francis Award, uh, the best Division II players in the nation. What does that mean to you? Coach told me that that's a new award this year, so if that's if I could be the first one to win it and bring it back to St. Cloud, that, that's something I hope I could do. You've been playing basketball now your whole life. Is there, if there's one thing you learned from playing basketball that you, you know, bring to your everyday life, what would it be? Um, I would say just having a positive um, mindset, you know, because when things don't go well on the court, you still got to move on next play mentality. And, you know, that's, that goes for everything in life. You know, things aren't always going to go your way. So you just got to keep your head up and keep it pushing. The rebound and still hold that four-point lead. Davis, the left wing three. Kaboom! Knockdown. 